but I, I, um, these are sticky. Why is this sticky? Unless my hands are sticky from something that was on the counter. Because, you know, I live with adults. But when they get peanut butter or jelly out to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, it ends up every fucking where, guys. It really does. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to make noodles. I don't... I don't know what I want to make. I legit don't know. I don't know, guys. No! I have rice, which if I wanted to, I could measure that out and cook it, and I could make chicken and rice and have a vegetable with it. I don't know. Or I could have chicken, a baked potato, and... I want to make noodles, but I don't want to eat that many noodles. <laughs> um, what should I make, guys? I'm completely at a loss for words. Completely at a loss. You know what? I'm going to make the noodles. I'm obviously going to start those first. Because they're the thing that's going to take the longest. And let me... Actually, guys, I have to do dishes real quick. I have to do the little bit of dishes that are here real quick. It will literally take me probably about seven minutes to tie my hair back. Which, by the way, guys, my hair is soft and it's still growing. I'm so proud of my hair. And I have, I don't know if you can tell, but I did put makeup on this morning. What I do is my eyebrows are filled in. But literally all I do is I put foundation on and I try and double it up in this area because there's a couple zits and stuff. And then I put bronzer in here and under here to make my face look slightly, you know, slim down, which it works. Um, and then I put blush here and here and I put like this. I have two bronzers. One is like a darker, like basically what I would look like if I was tan. Um, I got a gumball. My teeth like jelly, please ignore that. But what I was saying was, I put blush on. And then I put this, like, lighter bronzer on. Right here, around here. It's just a shimmer. I put it across there, that's why I have, like, a shimmer on my nose. I do put lip stuff on, but it never really stays on that long. Plus, it's pretty much the same color as my lips, so it doesn't really do anything. But I don't put anything else on most of the time. I don't put, like, a whole face of makeup on. Sometimes I do when I'm feeling, like... You know, I want to dress up or whatever, but generally, I don't. These gumballs are really hard. I'm gonna go now. See you when I start cooking my food. So guys, I figured out what I'm gonna make. I'm making a baked potato in the microwave. I'm gonna make chicken bites, but I'm gonna actually make uh, put the ingredients in this video. Um, and try and make a sauce for them and everything so stay tuned and let's get ready shall we let's see you in okay so the ingredients I have here for my chicken breading are as follows a half a cup of flour half a cup of breadcrumbs and then my seasoning is one teaspoon salt half a teaspoon black pepper half teaspoon each of garlic powder and meat tenderizer a teaspoon each of chicken seasoning Old Bay and chili powder that's the seasoning I have so far and then for the uh, because we all know that I roll it in egg and then dip it in flour and breadcrumbs. But let's mix these ingredients up first. In goes the flour. In goes the breadcrumbs. Which that looks like so much breadcrumbs. It looks like more breadcrumbs than flour. That's literally the same amount. The salt. The pepper. By the way, these come in handy so much, guys garlic powder, the meat tenderizer, the chicken seasoning, maybe that's the Old Bay. They all look so similar. This is the Old Bay. 
Yeah. And then the chili powder. Let me go throw these away. And then get an egg and some milk, and I will come back here. So for the egg and milk mixture, get one large egg, grade A large eggs. And I have paper towel laying down everywhere, so I can literally just put this anywhere. And then we get a fourth of a cup measurement here, and a fourth of a cup of milk. My chicken is thawing out, it should be about thawed. So we'll see how that looks in a minute. Use some reused grease. Um, I used this to deep fry fries in before, um, and since it didn't have a lot of debris left in it, I this was full. This container was full till here, and um, that's what I'm using for the oil to cook the chicken in. So we'll get to that, shall we? So guys, I'm mixing up the egg and milk because I have the chicken here on the plate, as you can see. I'm starting to think I used too much milk, but. Oh well. Now I'm gonna mix the seasoning up. I predict some sneezing in the future. What do you guys think? I have the oil on the stove, but it's not heated up yet. Okay. And it says to have one, like, you're always going to get told to have one dry hand and one wet hand. Okay, so since my hand, this hand is already kind of wet, this is the hand I'm going to use for the wet stuff, and this is the hand I'm going to use for the dry stuff. So, wish me luck. It's going to take forever. Can I just put this on time lapse? I think I'm gonna, hold on. Okay, now let's try putting these in. Ooh, it is fizzing a little bit. Most of the pieces are only about that big, but these two pieces are a little bit larger. You can't really see it that well, but trust me, it's going to be amazing. You're up on the fridge right now, and that's how I have you balancing. That's why it's such a weird angle, but I'm trying to do this, and I'm going to get it to work. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm They take way less time to cook than regular chicken. What I cooked in this grease before was just french fries. I hope you can hear me because this, this sounds so loud guys, like the actual frying of it. Can you hear that? Look how crispy it's getting already. I'm just going to flip that. Let me flip this one. And this is the plate I'm using to put them on after. I know everyone says put it on a paper towel, let the grease drain off. Do I have a paper towel I can do that with? I think I do.
There we go. Now I have a paper towel on it. But yeah. Getting so crispy, guys. I'm only gonna let you guys see about half of it cooking because I don't wanna run out of like time on my camera. There's my noodles by the way. I keep checking to make sure I don't run out of time on my camera. Yeah, I'm guessing these are probably done. They're really crispy, like. The little pieces are going to cook much faster than the big pieces do. Oh shit, it's splashing! So what I'm going to have is noodles, this chicken, I'm going to make a sauce for it, I'm going to try to put that, um, I'm going to have all of the ingredients for this in the description, by the way, um, and I'm just going to go ahead and say you can use any chicken breast you want, you can double the recipe, you can half the recipe, but I'm just going to say you can use any kind of chicken breast you want, because technically, you can use chicken, you could use, um, if you wanted to make these and make them, like, out of something else. Cheese or something. Someone's coming in. Holy shit. What? Food. I don't know. My dad, by the way, guys. Look at them. Look at how golden brown they are. I'm thinking they're done. Came home for lunch. What'd you say? Didn't really say much of anything. Found the video, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> and there's a lot of excess flour stuff left over from this recipe. There always is. Holy oh, shit. Noodles, my noodles, my noodles. There's the chicken. No chicken. Let me find a piece and get that up. The white meat, goodness. Not too bad in here, is it? Nope. So guys, I have my chicken here. I have my sauce here, my noodles here, my baked potato. Well, half of it, it was a huge freaking potato, as you can see. Like, look at that thing. I'm gonna take a little thumbnail. Hold on, I'm gonna do this for the thumbnail. I'm blatantly doing thumbnails now in my videos. <laughs> Some of you were not aware of my tongue length, and now you are. Well, 
Like I said, there's going to be a recipe for the sriracha barbecue sauce that I just made in the description as well. Um, I'm going to try the sauce on these. Mm. Why is everything I make so good, guys? Ooh, these are spicy. The sauce is spicy, but... Um, just move these guys away a little bit, so you can see me. These are plain noodles, but these are like my favorite kind of noodles ever. I like shells and cheese when it comes to mac and cheese, and I like egg noodles. Spiral egg noodles when it comes to noodles. Let's try a piece of this. I did set butter in it. I completely melted because it's hot right out of the microwave. I knew I was going to have to reheat it. That's the thing. Um, I didn't put salt on it. I just put a little bit of butter in the middle of it. It's hot. I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce in my noodles. It's literally just like sweet baby rays barbecue sauce. I think that's what it is. And um, a little bit of sriracha. These are good plain, but I feel like I should add something to them, you know? I know I'm not eating real vegetables. Potato is not a vegetable. Everyone knows that. But I have barely eaten anything today. So, like this, the potato is probably about 150 because that was a huge ass potato. So that's probably 150. These noodles are probably 200 because I didn't eat all of them. There's still some left in the thing. So it's probably 180 to 200. The sauce. I don't know how much barbecue sauce is, but sriracha is like five. So I'm going to say it's about 50 for this or 80 for it. So that all together is about 500, 400, 500, right? This chicken's probably about 300. That's me being honest. I have like a thousand some calories, so if this ends up being like 700, 800 calories, I'm, ki I'm kind of, you know, I'm fine with it. Um, how was your day? I'm going to try some sauce with the potato. I got a little piece of chicken. Stay on the fucking fork, pal. And let me put a noodle over that. That way I get everything at least one bite. And I'm drinking my mom's sparkling water ice. It's not alcoholic. It's just um, water that's flavored. And this one's black raspberry. It's pretty good. I didn't think I would like it. I'm in my room right now, guys. Um, I am going for a urine test for this job on the, on Wednesday, and you know what, I'm really happy, and it's the job that I made several videos about. This sauce is so spicy, guys. The chicken's kind of spicy, too, but... Mm, it's really good. I'm tempted to add more sauce to the noodles and put, like, half this chicken in the noodles.
I wish I could put my iPod somewhere where you could actually see, like, everything that I'm eating. I wish I had a stand for it and everything, but I don't, because I'm not employed yet. I don't, like, I have the job, like, I got it, but I have to go for a urine test. By the way, this thing here, this that I have it propped on is the, um, pump for my air mattress, and, um, that's one of the nozzle options. Like, it has this thing hanging off of it that you can pick one or the other. And that's one of the nozzle options that, um, it has on it. And it's just hanging there. And I'm sorry if it's annoying anybody being in the shot, but stuff happens. <sighs> I want to get back into eating veggies, but we don't really have any cucumbers or, you know, stuff like that right now. Like, I didn't feel like eating steamed veggies today. Honestly, I wanted to go to the store in my town. Get a rotisserie chicken and some mac and cheese and just eat that on camera. But I would do that. And I want to do more fast food mukbangs. I'm thinking I'm going to like have videos where I try and show the ingredients of a recipe that I make. Like once or, you know twice a week and then when I get this job when I have money coming in I'll be able to do a fast food mukbang once in a while I'm not saying that my videos are going to stay as frequent as they are because obviously if I'm working there's going to be days where I just don't feel like filming but I still want to put videos out at least three or four times a week um It's good, but it's bitey because I have, I have like spice in my mouth from like eating hot stuff and uh, I got a bigger chunk right here. I'm going to show you the white meat. I mean, look at that. And it's cooked perfectly like. It's not dry, the outside isn't overly crispy, the outside isn't overly greasy, the inside isn't greasy. It's perfect. Mm. I feel like you can't see me right. There we go. Chicken's here. Noodles are here. Pardon me that I keep adjusting my sitting position. But I'm sitting on an air mattress. Um... It helps with the heat, but I'm trying not to drink too much of it because I have a feeling it's going to mix with the food really badly. And then I'm going to get heartburn. I need to eat some more of this potato. Because the potato might help the heat in my mouth. Um, yummy. But the potato is warm. That goes for the person that likes me to burp in my videos. It's so spicy, guys. It's not too spicy for me, but, like, I didn't expect it to be that spicy. That's what's fucking with me. Some of you are like, pussy! Fucking pussy! I did not say it was too spicy for me. I said it's fucking with me. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and keep doing videos. And my 
first paycheck is probably going to go to getting a, uh, I don't know, I don't know what it's going to go to, but what I want it to go to is, like, getting food from at least one fast food restaurant, um, or maybe getting a Subway hoagie. Have I done Subway? Have I done a Subway McFlurry yet? I think I have. Um... I wish I lived somewhere where they post me and deliver food, but where I live, they don't do that because it's bumfuck Pennsylvania, okay? I just stopped drinking this because I need my drink. I need my drink! My drink! Mm -hmm. Guys, it's so good. And it's cooked to perfection. I like, I know I keep saying that, but it's so true. Um, I know you guys probably heard my mom in the background of this video and my dad in the background. I came up here to eat because of that reason, because my mom went back to work, but my dad's home today. So I came upstairs to eat so I would have some privacy. Um, that's another issue I'm going to run into with getting this job because I have a feeling that I'm going to work the same schedule or at least close to my parents and that means I'm not going to have very much privacy but I'm going to have the ability to pay for it and get Wi-Fi here so I want to do that which literally all I'm getting is Wi-Fi I'm not getting TV I'm not getting phone I don't need it you know and I'm not going to buy a game system or anything like that. I'm literally going to use it to film myself eating and upload it. Um. I want to do another Q&A. But. I don't know when. This is so yummy, guys. I don't know if you can hear my dad downstairs on the phone, but he's too big of a mouth and he needs to shut up. <laughs> like, everybody else when they're on the phone tries to be loud as fuck. When I'm on the phone, I'm like, yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. But I don't like talking on the phone. I'm weird that way. Why are noodles so awesome? I mean, think about it. Noodles are like limitless. They can make them in any shape, but they're still a noodle. They can be made out of literally a lot of different combinations of ingredients, but it's basically the same ingredients, so it's still a noodle. And you can eat them with anything. Tuna noodle, chicken noodle, beef noodle, ham noodle, and you can eat them by themselves. Ramen noodle. I think noodles are just amazing. Um, I was and I'm so I'm so glad I'm in this job because I do want to be able to buy people's presents for Christmas. Um that's not my only concern is that, that I want to be able to like do things on my own. But I do want to be able to buy people Christmas presents because I don't want anything for Christmas anymore. I don't get like that anymore. My boyfriend got me shoes, and technically they are for Christmas, but at the same time, he literally did it out of the kindness of his heart. 
and a lot of people have gotten me gifts that, you know, honestly I didn't deserve because I was an adult when I got it, and I couldn't buy them anything, and I should have been able to, but, oh my god, the dude that wants me to burp in my videos is having a field day right now. <laughs> Actually, those are hiccups. Getting the hiccups while I'm eating makes me so nervous, guys. Um, and the reason why is because, like, if I hiccup in the middle of swallowing, that is so bad. I don't know what hiccuping is. I don't know if it's your actual throat or your esophagus or if it's a little lower or a little higher. But I have a wee bit of an inclination that if I hiccup while I'm chewing my food and swallowing it, Probably won't be a very good thing. The barbecue sauce has spices too already. So, mm hmm. One of my friends shared a post about boneless chicken wings. Like the boneless chicken wings you buy in a bag from the store. Supposedly being made out of rat meat. And I mean, I would feel tough as fuck if I knew that I ate rat meat and lived through it and didn't be sick. And I think that rat meat, I, I don't know how true this is. It's probably like any other meat, right? It probably doesn't taste as good, it's probably stringy, it's probably gross. But, if you cook it at a high enough temperature and cut all the right organs out of it and stuff like that, you're probably going to be safe. But the thing is, rat meat is not... Because it's not an official food group, should I say. It isn't regulated, so technically that's why that's the big concern now. Um, guys, my noodles are at that stage where they're in little tiny pieces and they're hard to pick up on my fork. Kind of like, say something, I'm giving up on you. Whatever, you have that one last ramen noodle in the pot and you can't get it to go in the bowl. Because you keep scraping and scraping your spoon and your fork through the pot, but it won't come off. I normally do not eat, well, I try to eat my whole meal on camera, but sometimes it don't play out that way. And the reason I only ate half that potato is because that potato was massive, like the size of my hand. Um, now I'm going to finish my chicken. Um, and I'm going to ask you guys to please like, comment, subscribe, check out the link to my Patreon, my mukbang playlist, and the link to my Someone Has to Say It playlist in the description. Let me know if any of those links aren't working, by the way, I will try and fix them. If you want, um... Let me know of anything that you want me to make um, in the in the comments section. Let me know what you want me to make. Let me have any questions you want me to answer or um, anything like that. This video is going to be really long if I don't turn it off now. And I know watching a 30 minute video isn't really that fun, but you guys are such an awesome audience and I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that you have a spectacular day and I hope that you're having a great like season, whether it's a holiday season for you or just winter or just, you know, time for your fa time with your family. 
note that none of the topics I talked about in this video were too disturbing, because I know that I talked about rat meat, um, and yesterday I talked about conspiracy theories that I know creep some people out, so I'm gonna go now, and I hope you have a lovely day. See you in the future.